So this is what I'm currently working with on my AC200. It is just charging up my phone for now. Yesterday I was using it with some of my electronics and I have this currently at 43%. So the battery has been taken down a little bit. And some good news on some fast charging solutions is that this can support up to 700 watts of power you can recharge it with. So I'm going to test out how fast this is going to bring it up from a 43% charge to about 90% and see what it's like it during these optimum conditions. And this is my current setup. I got this trolley here that's hauling around one, two, three, four, five, six of those solar panels and I got the AC200 on there. Very good setup here. And it's easy to just stash this all in the back of my car. But then just folds away nice and easily. Alright, so I'm parked at where I want to set all these panels up right now. So let me go ahead, get these out, and put them up in series. And then the rest of them I'm just going to lay out here on... Well, I could just lay them all right here out on the side here next to my vehicle. Still got all the cords because it's brand new. That's it right there. One black, one red. And right now it's pretty prime conditions. It's about 11.30 right now. The sun is right there up top overhead. So I think that we're going to get at least a couple of hours of really good sunlight. No clouds in the skies really today. So I'm setting this up right here and to wire these in series, okay? You got a red wire and a black wire. So that's my first panel that I have. Let me show you how I'm doing this, okay? It's just real easy. You just take the red wire, the black wire on here, and you just connect that up. And then you're just gonna connect them in series again. You gotta get another panel out so that you can connect them in series again. So let me get another panel out now after I unfold this one out. And you don't want to block any of the sunlight that's getting into here either. Okay, see how this is leading up from the series that I was doing earlier? So now I have the third solar panel and these two wires and I just want to do the same thing here. Let's just connect them in series like this. And then I got these two wires to do the same to the fourth one now.
So the final step after getting those all connected is to just hook it up to this plug right here and these two right here. So I'm gonna do those final steps. And then this plug has got to go into the AC200. Okay, let's try this again. Got them connected up this time and this time it looks like there's a little bit of a delay before these things start jumping up in power, but give it a second here. It's saying it's reading 138 input volts. There it goes, 13, 36, 47, 103, 131, 151, 183, 240. Are you seeing this? 348, 330. So we're getting quite a lot of reading here. Definitely getting something here. It's up to 300 watts right now. 300 watts of power right now. Now the panels I have are set up like this, but if there's any kind of shading on one panel, it's gonna affect the power transfer. I'm gonna clear up some of the panels and try to eliminate any kind of shadowing here. Also, there is the sunlight up here. It is January, so still a lot of good sunshine and this is how I have the six solar panels set up from Blue Eddy. That looks like it's as good as it's gonna get right there. It is picking up 533, 544 watts of power and I'm extremely happy with that. It's at 43 percent. Let me go ahead and start my timer right now. I've got 12 o'clock on my clock right now and I'm just gonna leave this out here for a while and see how it all charges up. Now one thing that I think that I could use is an extension wire so that if I'm running these in panel like this in series, if I wanna have it connected to like the window and then have it just flow into my car like that, then I can lock up my car and then go into the store without having to worry about anyone messing with my wires or panels or stealing them hopefully you know all right so I've got the reading here it's still charging at 500 watts and it says there's 94 percent so I'm going to go ahead and unplug this because that is plenty enough charge now 500 watts of input that is really good that's more than the brick by itself so 43 to 94 percent that's about 50 percent of charge in an hour and 42 minutes so that's extremely good i'm very happy with that and it's not even maxing it out at the 700 watts that I could have been doing in it. So was it a good investment getting the four more panels than the two panels I originally had? I think so. I think it's a very good investment. You know, something to keep in mind when getting these solar panels all lined up is that you wanna have them so that they're perpendicular to the sun. I had that pretty much facing the sun in a good angle, so I was getting optimum charging rates with these panels. These SP120 panels, I like them because they're foldable, they're very portable, and they're easy to just take apart and take around with you because it doesn't take up that much space in the back of my SUV. I could fit six of these panels back here with the generator and be able to take it anywhere that there's ambient sunlight.
I've got it back in here. I'm charging up my phone right now. It's at 94%. This is going to last a long time to tab lids to charging up all my accessories here at work and in case there's a power outage I could use this also. It's a great item. Something that I want to note though, while I was outside and it was charging one of the MC4 connectors, it won't pry apart. So I'm going to go jump on Amazon and look for one of those clamps that will help me unplug the MC4 adapter. Maybe that will help instead of crimping my fingers around the plug and trying to unplug it. Also maybe an extension cord to make the wire go further out when I'm charging. I just wanted to show you what's possible with this Blue Eddy AC200. It's one of the top of the line electric solar powered generators out on the market right now. The fast charging capabilities using the solar and also electricity to charge it back up is great. I think another thing that would make this kind of setup ideal is to have two of these but if not you could also have like a gas or propane run generator that's going to be charging the electric also so you can have two systems running that way. I know there's different kinds of propane generators and plenty of gasoline generators out there on the market. I hope you learned something informative Hope you learned something, solar powering or a quick charging. And until the next time, I will see you on the next one. Okay? Peace.